kiss for you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development and so guys in this video I will show you how to deal with the list in your Firebase database. So basically I will teach you first of all that how to insert the string array into your Firebase database and then I will also teach you how to uh, traverse the array i mean how to display the array and then we will also try to delete some indexes of the array all right so basically we will uh, we will see how we can use the curled operations on the list inside the firebase database so let's get started so first of all let me open my firebase console and here i will select my account and from there okay so let me open the my opera and from there i can just open my firebase console which is associated with the gmail account and now you can see my firebase tutorials and here inside this uh, database okay so guys i assume that you already have connected your firebase with your android project okay so in this video i am not going to show you how to uh, integrate it I, as i already have the videos if you have not uh, learned about how to integrate your uh, for the firebase with your android project then you need to f first of all watch those videos all right so let's come back to our video so okay so here you can see that i already have connected my android studio with the uh, I mean I have already integrated the Firebase with my Android Studio and there you can see if I open the build or gradle and here you are uh, you can see this is the Firebase uh, database dependency inside my build dot gradle so I am using the Firebase dependency database dependency sorry alright so first of all what we are going to do is we are going to use uh, I mean put a button and then on the button click we will just try to uh, put a list in inside our firebase so let's get started so first of all here in this, inside this you as you already can see that we have a button and here when we click on the button so let's create a method let's say public void upload list and here I can use the view object here and first of all okay so we need the array list or i mean the list which we want to upload to the firebase database so for that we can say list of type string then we can say my list and we can initialize it inside our own create method so we can say my list equal to new array list all right then inside this are method and let me copy that and paste it here inside our own click all right so after that we uh, here first of all we need to initialize some values i mean put some values so we can say my list dot add and here we can add a value let's say i want to add let's say 12 pm then let me say my list dot add then it will be 0 1 pm then we can add my list dot add 0 2 pm then we can have my list dot add 0 3 pm similarly i can just uh, copy that and paste it here all right so here we have these six values which we are going to put inside our firebase so here how can we do that okay so here we can okay so now we need to initialize our uh, the, the, the database reference which will points which will point it towards our firebase database so here we can say database reference and i name it as reference and we can initialize our reference as reference equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference so this get reference will points towards our root uh, root nodes here okay so now if we want to create a new node here 
or so we can say dot child and here we can say dot time okay and now what we can do is here inside our button click event so we can say reference dot set value and inside this we can simply pass our list all right and here we can have the add-on complete listener and here we can check if the task is successful so we can just print the message list is uploaded successfully and I can simply display the message and let's try to run the app so for that let me open the sighting app so that I show you the output So here I have connected my phone okay so I don't do that uh, I cannot do that because I don't have the sighting uh, app on my phone so I will just run the app and I will show you that there will be the uh, the list will be uploaded here with the indexes of 0 to 7 or 6 alright so let's see how it works alright guys so now the app is running and if I click on done button so you can see that there is this node and inside this uh, node you are able to see this the indexes of the array with the value these are the key value pairs all right so guys i hope that you have understood how to insert the list into your firebase database so in my next part of the video i mean the part two of the video so i will show you how to display okay so here so let me display all these lists in uh, here in this video all right so here we can okay so here what we can do let me have another button to display so here we can say let me rename the button to display values so how can we do that so here we will have the separate method for that so we can say public void display list and here we can say and now we can say reference dot add listener for single value event new value event listener and inside this we can check if data snapshot dot exist and then we can say for data snapshot dss data snapshot dot get children and here we can say string time name equal to and here we can say the ss dot get value and inside this we can pass string dot class and here we will have an array list, array list that will hold all these values so here we can say list of type string display list and we can first of all initialize the list so we can say display list equal to new array list and then we can simply uh, without that we first of all need to clear it so we can say display list dot clear and here we can just say display list okay so I think the display list is our method so we need to change it so we can say just ds all right so ds dot clear and here we can say ds dot add and we will add the time name so now we can easily uh, add it to our array list then after this okay so here we can now display it so for that we can say string builder string builder equal to new string builder then we can say for int i equal to 0 i less than 
uh, ds dot size i plus plus and here we can add it append so we can use append method and inside that we can say time name okay so here we can say ds dot get i and we now need a comma to separate them all right and here now we can just print the message i mean the value so we can say string builder dot to string and we can just display the all right so now let me open the side sync and now you can see that I already have connected my phone let me remove that and open it again In the meanwhile, let me copy it and use the on click event and paste it here. All right, so now my phone is connected with my laptop, and here I can now run the app and show you the output on the screen this is my fiverr account if you want to create any type of app you can contact me here all right so now our app is running and if i click on this display values button so you can see that all the list items are getting displayed here inside our toast message all right guys so that was it so in my next part of the video i will show you how to delete the items and how to uh, delete the indexes and many other things regarding the list inside our firebase database so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye